Recording your Panopto videos to uh, upload them to YouTube is pretty easy and here I'm going to show you. So I've got my Panopto folders open and I'm going to click on this first one here, play. So um, I'm going to pause this, make sure it's at the beginning. And what I want to do is I'm going to open Screencast-O-Matic. And once this opens, I want to click record. So the important thing here is to make sure you're on 720p and you'll see that it has the bounding box. I'm going to move that best I can over my browser window. And what you want to do after that's set in the middle is we're going to adjust the browser window so it fits within that bounding box. Now you'll notice at the top, um, make sure you have your computer audio on so you can hear what's being played. Um, and you can close this down, but you want to make sure that the whole area in there is actually inside the bounding area. Whoops, make sure that stays at 720. Make sure you're grabbing the window for that. And that way we can fit the whole thing. And if at the bottom you want to get rid of those icons, that's one way to do it. Um, you just click that plus. If you wanted to get rid of the video and you only want to record the slides, make sure only the slides are showing the, the rest of the windows outside of that bounded area. And this way only the screen captures there or if you had slides, you could do slides um, like PowerPoint. So if you just wanted audio with the PowerPoint, you don't care about the um, webcam video, you would do that. But I'm going to record the whole area with the webcam and everything. So again, I make sure that's all the way in there. We don't need the top URL. And then when I'm ready, I just hit record. Let it count down, start recording, then hit play on your Panopto. So now your Panopto is playing and Screencast-O-Matic is recording. Uh, remember, this is a linear process, so there'll be no interactivity. It's just a video. You can check the time at the bottom um, and you wait for it to get done. So once it's done, I'm going to do just about 20 some seconds here. Give it just a second. So once you're done, there's the pause button. You want to click pause. And if you've recorded everything that you want, you can always review it with the play, but hit done. And there you have your file. Whoops. Uh, I'm going to close this. Let me get back out of here. Sorry. I'm going to close this web browser. Close the tab. And then we're into the recording area. And so here you can see the recording and you can edit this. Uh, most common thing you're going to do is just trim out the front, you know, like you couldn't do in Panopto easily. So say it starts right here hit the cut button and then drag across. The red area is what's gonna be removed, say okay. And then you'll probably want something at the end too. So if some ends there, you record it over, hit cut, again, drag, and that's gonna remove the end. So that's really all you're gonna to need to do. Hit done, and then you're going to save the video file to your desktop for upload to YouTube. So uh, click the save video file here, and you want to name it. We're going to call this uh, my recording, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. And we'll 001. Um, quality, just leave it at normal. That's fine. Uh, save it. Click browse. You want to save to your desktop. Um, it's already named. Say OK. And then just click publish. And it's going to export that as an MPEG-4, which can easily be dragged up to your YouTube uh, account and loaded there and then you can embed it from your YouTube so and in here it will save all your videos and that's really it it's pretty straightforward if you do need help just let me know